Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And in today's tutorial, we're learning how to tie a two strand wide lanyard knot. So if you're looking for something a bit more substantial than the diamond knot, this lanyard knot makes a great decorative knot. As you can see, I've tied one here onto my Spyderco Techno and it makes a great uh, knife lanyard knot. I also have this really sweet bead from Thai Survival and you can check them out. Link in the description box down below. Let's get into it. So to start this one off, I've got my two colors of paracord. You can use a single color if you want, but for clarity, I am using two colors. And I've got them joined, and the midpoint is right there. And I'm going to start this off by placing the paracord around my middle finger like so. And we're going to make a counterclockwise loop with the strand on the right, the blue strand. I'm going to lay that on top of the gray strand, like so. And we're doing the carex bend. This is the same uh, process you would do for tying a diamond knot. I'm going to take the gray strand and put it under the blue strand on the right. And then we're going to go over, under the middle strand and over the blue strand like so. So we're going to bring it across that loop and form our carex bend. So this is where you should be now. Okay. Now with the blue strand, I'm going to bring it up top and put it through that uh, sort of blue lobe up on the um, top left there. Okay, so I'm going to go in from the back and out the front. And then I'm going to bring the gray strand from the left to the right side. And it's going to go on that outer gray lobe like so from the back to the front. And this is what we should have now. Now from here, I'm going to use a fid to show you exactly where my strand is going to go. So you see that path there? right in between or right underneath where those two blue strands are crossing that's where i want my blue strand to go okay so i'm just going to use my hemostats again to show you very clearly the path of the strand it goes underneath those two blue strands where they intersect and you pull that right through like so okay to the other side so that's one strand and now we're going to do the same with the gray strand on the other side so we've got that done with our blue strand. Now with the gray strand, I'm going to take that gray strand working end. And again, just using my fit to show you, it's going to go right underneath these two gray strands here where they cross over. So I'm going to go in from the front there and out to the other side and pull that to that side. Now from here, we're going to finish it by the same sort of way you would finish a diamond knot. So with this blue strand, I'm going to bring it up and have it go past the gray strand up top and it's going to go out through the middle from the back out through the front okay so you want that strand leading through the middle this is exactly what you would do when finishing a diamond knot so the blue strand comes out the middle and now the gray strand see how they kind of want to go a certain way so that gray strand goes past the blue strand like right there and it comes out the middle Okay, and then are, now you're going to gather your knot together and cinch it up. Okay, so this part, just uh, get all the slack out of the knot and start to form up your wide lanyard knot. I'm just going to work all that slack out of the knot and begin to form everything together. Sometimes using a, a fid or a knotter's tool is great. Uh, for getting the slack out of these knots because you, you can use it to pull up on certain strands. Right, so once you've gotten all your slack out, this is what you should have. So this is our two strand wide lanyard knot. And um, yeah, don't really have a name for it yet. And you have yet to learn the official name for it. But if anyone does know, please uh, feel free to comment down below. So there it is. That is our tutorial for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, you guys are making a world of difference for this channel. And uh, for everyone else, for as little as $3 a month, you can get access to exclusive tutorials as well as uh, sneak previews of upcoming videos. So uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what I did here, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.